My name is Greg Henderson, captain assigned to the safety division. Today we're going to demonstrate the on-scene preliminary exposure reduction procedures. These procedures can also be found under the manual procedures 327. Dallas Fire Rescue will utilize the driver off of the second or third end engine company on one alarm fires with their respective apparatus. The driver will grab a orange traffic cone and mark the exposure reduction area preferably upwind away from the contaminants. Your supplies will include a red bucket, a two and a half inch by three quarter inch reducer, a soft bristle brush, one gallon of citrus squeeze, a garden wand, and 50 foot section of garden hose. You'll place your two and a half inch to three quarter inch reducer on your discharge and stretch out the 50 foot section of garden hose. Attach your garden wand sprayer to the hose And when you walk over to the discharge, you just barely need to crack the discharge. The engine should be in pump gear, idling. You just barely crack that discharge, just enough to fill the hose. Once that's done, you'll walk over, grab the gallon of citrus squeeze, and you'll put just a few ounces in the bottom of the bucket, and you can fill the bucket up halfway. As the firefighters exit, exit the structure, ideally while still on air, you will begin brushing, wiping off the big chunks from head to toe. You can do a little bit of light scrubbing if needed. And it's head to toe, front to back, and concentrate on the SCBA as well. The SCBA, once we place it back in the cabinet apparatus, uh, will continue to off-gas. Once the firefighter's been brushed off, you'll grab the wand and you'll rinse head to toe, front to back. The reason we use the guard wand is it's a low pressure wand and it'll prevent any of the contaminants from being shoved deeper into the protective clothing. Okay, now we're gonna show you the procedures for utilizing the decontamination wipes. This, these get up to 54% of the contaminants off of your skin. You're gonna grab a rescue wipe, and the first place you're gonna wipe is gonna be your mouth, and then get your eyes, the eyelids in the corner of your eyes. Then you're going to work around to your the inside and the outside of your ears. And then the last place with the first wipe is going to be inside the nose. At this point the wipe is contaminated so let's go ahead and get a clean wipe uh, to prevent any cross contamination. The second wipe will be used for the circumference of the neck. The neck is a highly exposed area research has shown. So with one side of the wipe we're going to do the circumference of the neck and then with the other side just comb your hair with it. At this point that wipes contaminated. So let's get our third wipe out and wipe down the arms. You get both arms, hands, fingers, and also under the armpits. Don't get in too big a hurry. Make sure you're you're getting the areas wiped. And then the most one of the most highly permeable areas of our body, and where we're twice as likely to get testicular cancer is going to be the growing area. And take your wipe and wipe down your growing area, and dispose of the wipes appropriately. That can be in a red biohazard bag, and go back to the station and take a shower.